G'day guys. Okay, so when you're fitting up the uh, Rock Armour rear bar on a 75 series troop carrier or a 78 series troop carrier or even a 76 series wagon, right here on the uh, passenger side uh, car, passenger side of the vehicle, you're going to come across these two brackets. Okay, now a lot of these uh, troop carriers or even the wagons uh, have been fitted up with an aftermarket exhaust and that means basically you have to get the bracket to fit underneath this, uh, underneath the exhaust itself. So First of all, the first part you'll be uh, mounting up is this L-shaped bracket right here that Rock Armour will supply you. Now, you'll get two of these. One will be longer than the other, depending on the exhaust that you may have. So basically, first of all, you'll be mounting it up here to the chassis points. Okay, so there's one point at the top there. Okay, once you've bolted that on, uh, you'll come across, it'll obviously fit underneath the exhaust. And then you come across this Z bracket right here. Now, the Z bracket uh, easily bolts onto this L-shaped bracket right here. So, there's only one part you need to be drilling out, and that's mark, and that's lining up that Z bracket with the actual rear bar itself. Once you've lined up that Z bracket to the rear bar, it's pretty simply just drilling out a hole into the rear bar where you've marked it out, and then bolting that together. So that's one. So that Z bracket and the L-shaped bracket comes in one piece. Now, if you haven't got a aftermarket tow bar like this one here, which is an aftermarket tow bar or an aftermarket exhaust, this L-shaped bracket right here, uh, rather than using a bolt to bolt it up there, a bolt and nut, sorry, you can actually use the U-bolt supplied by Rock Armour, which will uh, easily fit within with the uh, factory tow bar and factory exhaust. But if you've got the aftermarket tow bar and an aftermarket exhaust, you're going to have to bolt this L-shaped bracket with the bolt and nut. Now, in fitting the bracket on the driver's side of these uh, rear bars on the uh, troop carriers and on the Land Cruiser wagon, it's a little bit more of a simple process. There's no drilling required. You're going to get supplied an angled bracket, okay? Now, the angled bracket just simply bolts onto the lowered uh, wing support from the rear bar itself, okay? And then it lines up to uh, chassis or pre-existing chassis points on the vehicle itself. So, pretty much, you'd just be bolting it onto the uh, lowered bracket first and then lining it up to the uh, existing holes on the chassis. 